this is going to be the first build video for 2019. It is the Ford GT kit from Tamiya. Been looking forward to getting this one started, and we're going to get that get it started here now. Been looking forward to getting this one built. The plan is yes. Uh, if you said blue, you're right. Ford liquid blue will be the paint. Uh, playing around at the Ford GT configuration website. This is what I'm going to be. This is my plan for it. Yes, blue over black wheels with the black stripes. I'm not 100% sure I am going to go with the stripes. I'm not a big personal fan of stripes, but I do think they look nice on the Ford GT, so I probably will go that route. But I'll make up my mind, obviously, when the time comes. So that is that. That is the plan for this one. Just wait until you see the plans I have for the second one. Oh, I cannot wait to get it built. I'm going to have to wait because I need to wait for the decals to get done. But then I can get started on it. Just, it is awesome. It is not going to be blue, I'll tell you that much. But we'll focus on this one. This is the one I can work on. And we'll get it opened up. The only thing I have done so far is the wheels are in the purple bath. Getting the, getting the chrome removed. Other than that, I have not started anything just yet. I'm trying to decide how I want to go about painting the body because it is the multi-piece body. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, because it's a little bit different when you paint a multi-piece body with, with a rattle can versus a airbrush. You're going to be able to get m the more, uh, more even coverage, if you will, using a rattle can. Than you will an airbrush is so easy with an airbrush to not get the, the same amount of coverage on each panel so i think what i do is i'll put everything together on the body uh, mock it up paint it take it apart and get the areas that i miss which will probably be in here more than likely i'll probably not I'll have to, this is the area that i'm going to have to come back and touch up i think i don't know we'll see when i get to that point this piece is not um supposed to be removed you were this is, stays attached because it helps attach the bumper too. So don't remove this piece. At first I thought that was, you need to remove it, but you don't. Leave that piece on there. So with that, uh, enough talking. Let's get to work and get started and getting this, getting everything ready for paint. And moving forward in our Ford GT build coverage. Got all the parts sorted and binned into the container here and getting them ready for paint have done some pre-painting assembling as well like for instance uh, the dashboard here which this is like a three uh, five piece affair put two of the pieces together for painting the door panels the interior door panels here this is like uh, these are two pieces this is the bottom piece here is separate we got that glued up uh, the rear sus the rear suspension here Two pieces got that glued up. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, the overcomplicated uh, headlight buckets. Those are three pieces there. The actual interior or the actual headlight piece. Uh, this little guy here is uh, three pieces. I figured it'd probably be best to glue this thing to get, glue these this together first before trying before paint then this versus trying to assemble this thing um, after I've painted it. So there is the overcomplicated headlight bucket. Headlight assembly. So pretty much everything else is separate and I'll just get painted and, and then get assembled afterwards. So that's pretty much it. All the pieces there. So there's everything parts that need to get so those are the Gonna get painted. Next, now we'll move on to the body that I have mocked up with masking tape uh, to see what can be left separate and what can be glued before I do some primer and painting. And so far, I've found out um, I can glue these pieces in. I can probably glue this side piece right here on. Uh, I've already actually did glue some pieces. This piece right here, this, this side piece right here, I've glued those two on. One on, obviously, for both sides. Those have been glued on. <coughs> Realistically, the only things, the only pieces that need to be left separate, the front and rear bumpers, and this, the side piece here. So that's pretty much where we're at. 
Uh, I need to do some cleanup on the body. There are some panel, there are some uh, mold lines, seam lines that need to be removed, like mainly like right here. There's one right here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can be able to see it, but there's one that runs right around here, the edge, all the way back, both sides. That needs to be removed. So we get the body cleaned up, get it ready for primer, paint, get it cleaned up, and all that good stuff. And then that'll be my next step. That's where we're at on the Ford GT. So at this point, I have pretty much everything has been painted, minus just a couple of things. Uh, I still have to paint the brake rotors and a couple other small bits. But for the most part, majority of the kit has been painted. And I can start getting to work on getting it assembled. Uh, we'll just talk about the chassis for a second. Just point out back here. Uh, the chassis has been painted Mr. Surfacer Black. And the diffuser there out back, I painted it with uh, Tester's car, uh, Graphite Metallic, which... I call it uh, the Fox carbon fiber, the fake carbon fiber look of the, the shade. It, it kind of really close to the shade that carbon fiber is in. So it kind of has that fake carbon fiber look minus the pattern, of course. But yeah, so that is what I did with the chassis. And the same goes for those parts here, which they actually, I should move the chassis back. These sit down here, the lower, I, I don't remember what it's actually called, but it's kind of like a lower trim of the car and you have the options on the real one to get those pieces uh, they're either black you can get them in a matte carbon fiber or a glossy carbon fiber so apparently I chose the glossy carbon fiber uh, appearance package so that also means I need to um, on these pieces I need to mask off the grill opening and the vent openings there, and then paint the surrounding areas in the graphite as well to match, because it's all got to match. So not a big deal, piece of cake. And then the rest of the parts in here have all been painted and ready to go. So now I can get started in getting things assembled.